Votronics. Hello, is this Willie? Yeah. Hey, uh, this is Sensei Doug. I'm, I'm next door at the karate store. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I was wondering... Look, um, when, whenever you walk by, uh, you know, come in your store, you're, you're just always looking at me. Can you just stop looking at me? I, are you kidding? No. I mean, it's it's ridiculous. Well, it's just Hey, like, wait a second now. I feel threatened. Are you talking about, like, when I walk by your store? Yeah, you're just looking I, at me. I, I look inside your store? Yeah, you're looking at me. You're, like, looking straight at me and giving me this look, like you, you want to fight or something. And I mean, I'm not the type of person to come out and just fight people. I know I know karate. I know I could kick your ass and everything. Now look. But. (laughs) I don't know where you got the idea that I'm looking at you. Okay. But you're looking at me all the time. When I walk by there, I'm on my way somewhere else. I may look in through through the door or something and just to see what's going on in there but i'm not looking at anybody in particular oh, oh bullshit you're and looking if you at you walked out the door right now i wouldn't even recognize you i don't pay that much attention oh why are you always glaring at me then you're just looking at me like you're giving me this this f you look well i you just cut it out i have i have no idea why you would feel that way really I, I think when you walk by my place maybe you should turn your back to the to the store and walk sideways. I think you're full of crap. Well, now, who put you up to no, this? No, you're, you're the one that's doing this to me. I'm not full of I'm crap. I'm not doing anything to you, dude. I don't even know who you are. Well, then I wh- have no idea who you are. Well, do you just look at strangers like that? I'm not like, looking at anything in particular. Are, are, you, are, you, are you just, you just like to start crap with everyone around you? You know what? I haven't said a word to you. I don't know who you are. I know. You don't say I, anything to me. You just look at me. Just give me that look. You just need to stop looking at me. You know, you if you want to walk out front so I can see who you are... Oh, you know who I am. I'll make I, absolutely sure that I never look at your ass again. Oh, now you're going to curse at me. You know, I don't I have a problem with... I will never look at your bottom again. I don't have a problem with anyone else on the street. You're the only one that's trying to start shit with me. Just looking at me I every time I haven't tried you... to start shit with anybody. Now, you talk to Sensei Yaguchi, and you tell him you have a problem with me. He told me I should and call you. You know, I, I'm still telling you, I don't even know who you are. I'm not looking at you. You look at me every single time you walk by. You just, like, look right in the window and just stare me down like you're trying to, trying to intimidate well, me. Well, I... You know, I'm sorry you feel that way, but I'm not. That's not what I'm doing. You are, too. I don't too. even know who you are. You are, too. And if you, if you keep it up, I'm going to call the police. I don't even care well, anymore. I, you know what? You better go ahead and do that. Because I, I shouldn't have to feel threatened at my job. I don't see why you should feel threatened. I don't know who you are. I, I, did, sens- I would not recognize you if I passed you on the street. You would, too, because you look at me every day when you walk by. You just look right in the window and, and give I me don't, this. I, I don't walk by every day. Every day that you do walk by, smart ass. Oh, no, you're going to cuss at me, huh? You just need to cut it out. Why don't you just cut it out? Why don't you just mind well, your own I business? Can, you know what? There, there's you no reason relax, our, dude. our businesses can't I'm coexist. I'm not looking at you. I don't care what you do. You look at me all the time. I don't know time. who you are. I don't bear you any ill will. I don't know who you are. I you're, don't even know where this is coming from. You're being passive aggressive. That's what you're doing. <laughs> you, you think, you know... You, you know, you're really starting to sound like somebody put you up to this. That sounds like a joke to me. Oh, it's a, it's a joke to you. It's not a joke to me. Because I'm just trying to do my job here. And, and you're just coming in and and make, trying to make problems for in. everyone. I have never set foot in that building. Ever. I, you're walking up not to the once. front and you're just looking at not me. Not once in 22 years that I've been here next to that building have I ever set foot inside. Okay, it. fine. Every time you walk by in front, you're looking at me. And you're trying to just start problems with the people here. I'm not trying to start problems with anybody. And you want you don't want to start problems with people that know karate, okay? That's exactly right. And I'm I'm surprised that you couldn't figure that out. Well, maybe you should figure it out and stop doing it. Stop doing what you're doing. All right. Let me lay something on you, my friend. Oh, go ahead. You're telling me that I'm trying to start shit with you. And you're sounding like you want to come kick my ass. No, I just want you to stop. Uh, just me, cut it me, out. Let me put something on you, okay? Just stop. I'm 66. I got a pacemaker and a bad leg. Now, you think I'm trying to start shit with anybody? What, are you nuts? Well, that's why you're just being all passive-aggressive about it. I don't even know what passive-aggressive means. 
Well, you're obviously not that smart if you're trying to start problems with yes, people I'm not at the that karate smart, place. Okay, I must be fucking stupid. That's what it is. So why don't you just leave the fucking retard alone? Okay. 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 I'm done with you. Well, we'll stop doing what you're doing. <laughs> oh my god. Electronics. Oh, also, I forgot to ask. I need to get my flamethrower fixed. How much does that cost? You know, if you're who I think you are, you're making a bad fucking mistake. What do you... Who do you... I'm going to kill you. 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 Sister under the ground liver, I'm going to kill you. Why would I record this? It's none of your business. Is that because it's imaginary? Is this a joke? It's none of your business. Well, that's not nice. You did it to my mom. Not a problem. My electric show is very reasonable. I'm known as a mole man. There's lots of us around the country. I'm a mole man. Hello there, everybody. You're listening to the Snowplow Show. This is episode 767. It's April 8th, 2022. And this episode's brought to you by Jamie F. Broski, Chaz the Tandem Stacker, high school graduate, and Christine. They support the show over on patreon.com slash phone losers, along with a bunch of other people. Thanks, everybody, for supporting the show. I got an email update today from somebody whose mom I pranked on a previous episode. I can't remember which one, but I'm pretty sure it was a snowplow show and not a snowplow hobo sode. That's the private show for supporters over on Patreon. But no, I think this was a snowplow show. It's from Joel. I prank called his mom and said I was Sensei Doug. Was that the most recent episode? I can't even remember. I can't remember what any of my shows are about. But the email says, thank you for prank calling my mother Kim on the recent show. She came home very distressed, saying that the karate instructor had called her from the studio on so-and-so street, claiming she gave him the stink eye. And that's in quotes. So she called it the stink eye, not the snake eye. And that a lady then called her phone and left a message because I called as Carol after she wouldn't talk to me very much. And I forget what the message even said. Really, I should go back and listen to this. But no, that's too much work. Joel says, I burst out laughing and admitted to it. It helped me see why people take Carol seriously because she was 100% sure that the woman was not you. She calmed down after I explained that it was you using a voice changer and that Sensei Doug did not exist and did not have a problem with her. We've been able to laugh about it since then. But you know what? She probably doesn't really trust you anymore. She probably can't ever really trust you again. Joel, I hate to be the one to tell you this. Uh, He says, when we took a walk by the karate studio the other day, she told me that I should look in the window and see if I could find Sensei Doug. Thanks again, man, from Joel. And she tells me that the concert she was at was a Christian music thing. Maybe I shouldn't say the name. I don't want to give away where you live. But that's awesome. Thank you for that update, Joel. That was nice of you to let me prank call your mom. And listeners out there, would you like me to prank call your mom? I might do it, or I might just ignore your request and never do it, like I've done with other people. You can submit a prank call request to this show by going to snowplowshow.com slash request. There's an option on the drop-down menu for the Grandma Challenge slash Prank My Family. Used to, I just wanted to prank call Grandma, so if you have a Grandma that I can prank, I would love to prank your Grandma, but I may or may not prank any member of your family. I make no guarantees, and it might take years and years. You won't know when to expect it, but I'll try to get to it in a timely manner if I can. 
that reminds me that I also got an update from the subreddit Phone Losers saying Brad scared the shit out of me this morning. And I don't know if any of you remember, but I did a Halloween episode last year where I put a bunch of silence on the end of the show and then started whispering that I'm in your house. Hey, you wake up because people are always talking about how they fall asleep to the show. So I thought it'd be fun to scare people. Oh, and look at that. Synthhead put a link to the episode. I don't even remember what it sounds like. Let's find out real quick. I'm in your room. Wake up. I'm in your house. Yeah, so it's just me whispering like that. I remember I start playing some uh, machine guns. Hey and stuff hey, i'm in your house the door was unlocked i got here and you were sleeping and i don't remember if anyone really reacted to that before when i first set it up most people were just like yeah nice try brad you fucking idiot that's not gonna fool anybody but he was at a friend's house he got way too drunk fell asleep on the couch this is from someone named hat bin this morning at 6 a.m i woke up to somebody whispering to wake up i thought it was my friend at first talking to his cats or something but then eventually i started hearing i'm in your house the door was unlocked the TV looked like it was off. That's because it had a blank screen on it. And the curtains were closed, so I had no idea where the person was. I don't know. It goes on and on. I should put a link to this in the show notes. Oh, the very last line says, Well, the prank worked. Thanks for giving me a heart attack at 6 a.m., you asshole. You're welcome, Mr. Hat Bin on Reddit. That makes me happy that I may have actually scared somebody. And hopefully I scared some other people, too, and they didn't tell me about it. And really, I shouldn't even be mentioning this, because now you guys are going to be prepared for it if you're ever listening to old shows. I need to just shut up and make prank calls right now. Let's do that. You're listening to the Snowplow Show. Motherfucker. Thank you for calling. This is Jonathan. Hey, Jonathan. I'm a resident here at the apartments. Hey, buddy. What's going on? Oh, not much, Chief. Uh, I had some sand installed in my apartment, uh, you know, just all on all the floors. I was wondering if you guys would reimburse me for that at all. What apartment are you in? Which apartment number? Yes. Uh, G14. You said G14? G no, G14. G is in George14? Yes. What's your name? Glenn. Glenn, okay. And Who's I, the leaseholder? So, yeah, I covered all of the floors with uh, sand. Like, uh, just all the Wait. surfaces of the floors with two or three inches of sand. And I was just wondering if you, you guys would reimburse me for that, for any of that work. Well, I'm not. You're saying G is in George 1 4? Yes. And you're saying you. you I'm, okay, hang on. I'm, I'm just trying to wrap my head around this. Okay, so you're in G14 and you put sand all over the apartment? Yes. Yeah, just on the floors. Sand. Like a, just as like mean? a beach theme. So would they deduct okay. that the cost of that from next month's rent? No, I mean, that's not something that we typically do, but so, I, I guess I'm still trying to wrap my head around the fact that you have sand in the apartment, like you covered the entire floor with sand. Yeah, yeah, it took uh, 43 bags of sand, you know, 50-pound bags of why sand. Did, what? And, uh, Why exactly did you did you put sand all over the apartment for for like a beach theme because it's summer? But I was right, just, but why, I'm gonna leave it this way year round, so it's like you know beach theme year round in the apartment, like in in the interior. Yeah, in the living room, the kitchen, the bathroom, the bedroom, like every room, and then in the hall. What what and apartment then, is this again? Uh. I already told he's repeated it several times. Can you ask that that man on the yeah, on the, he said G, G you're saying G fourteen, G one four. Oh no, but no G one four. G is in George one four? Yeah. And uh we had like leftover sand and I flushed it down the toilet. Can we can okay. we come can we, yeah, can we come by? Uh no. No, I'm a little busy today. I was just wondering, like, is that the kind of thing that you guys would deduct? Because it costs quite a bit of money. Nah, I, well, no, sir. I mean, t I mean, typically you're not supposed to cover your sand, your floors with sand. So I guess I'm just a little confused on, you well, know, the purpose of you doing that. Well, it's a design choice, and especially but... flushing it. Right, I mean, I understand that, but even I mean, especially flushing it down the toilet, it's going to damage the pipes. Oh no, it's just sand. It's it's like uh, you know, it's it's less solid than poop. It'll just go straight down the pipes. That was just because we had leftover sand. 
And I didn't want okay. to drive it back uh, uh, to the hardware store. Yeah, just, just, Listen to this. Listen to this. When you have time, please come come see us. We'll go. We, we yeah, sir, sir, why you you be quiet, sir? I can't even hear you because you're both on speaker. Hey. You're too far away. I said, sir. Oh, that's when better. You, when you have time, yeah. When you have time, please stop by the office. We can go to your apartment, inspect what you've done, and then we'll take it from there. No, it's okay. I don't need to come by. I just so you guys aren't gonna be reimbursing me for the sand, is what you're saying? No. Uh, Actually, we're going to charge you for putting sand in the apartment. Why? Why would you charge? I already paid for the sand. I'm not. At, yeah, it, you're not supposed to. You're not supposed to put sand inside your apartment without. Access. Why not? Like I can. I was going to leave it here for the next tenant. Uh, no, sir. No, the next tenant does not need sand. Well, how do you know? Like, ask. Uh, you probably charge well, more we, for it now. We, no, because we go in there before the next tenant. I put. In I put we, it on top of all the carpet and stuff. Like it's just sand in here yeah, now. Yeah. yeah, so yeah, you're not supposed to do that. And and I was able to get rid of my litter box for the cat. Yeah, you're not supposed to do that. Yeah, you're not supposed to do that. Well, the cat can so just anyway, use... just yeah. Whenever you get when you have time, just stop by or let us know so we can come inspect it and then we can discuss it. Sir, why are you being a total dick? To why are you being a total dick to me? Oh. Let me try them right back. Thank you for calling the police department. Hey, you're you're. Uh, I can barely hear you. Can you put your mouth up to the phone? Hello. Chris. Hello. Yes, sir. Sir, you need to work on your customer service skills because you were just yelling at me. I was not yelling at you. Oh, you, you were kind of yelling you, at me, and I was you, just trying to improve you. the quality of life here in the apartments by putting sand down, and you're being a total douche canoe. Okay, I'm gonna hang up again. Why? Well, that guy was bullshit. And that's a prank call that Stacy came up with about 10 years ago. In fact, I think Stacy is responsible for getting us started on the Tenants from Hell calls with that premise, which was based on a toothpaste for dinner comic strip where the guy in the comic says, Hey, landlord, I had sand installed in the living room, and I'll be deducting the cost from next month's rent. And as it turns out, apartments don't like it when you cover the floors in sand. I don't understand why. It seems like it'd be kind of nice. Be kind of a beach theme. And I've been noticing people, uh, you know, they keep posting pictures of people who do that for real. You know, used to, people didn't actually do stupid shit like that. But now we live in the TikTok era, and people have to do crazy shit to post on TikTok. Like covering their floors in sand and installing swimming pools in their apartments. Thank you for calling. This is Katina. How can I help you? Hey, Katina. Uh, I'm a resident here at the apartments, and um, I put sand down on my floors. You know, like in every room, I put about uh, two to three inches of sand, you know, for like a beach theme. And I was just um, wondering, uh, do you will, will you guys reimburse me for that at all? Like take it out of next month's rent or something? I'm I'm sorry. Could you explain again? Oh well, it it just ended up costing uh, quite a bit more than I expected. Uh, it was like uh, four hundred and sixty nine dollars for all the bags of sand I brought in and dumped all over the floor. So I I, um, I completely covered the floors of the living room and the bedroom, and the bathrooms and the hallway, and the kitchen. It's like all okay. sand now on top of the carpets and floors. I don't okay, I don't think I'm understanding like what so you put down the sand or what like yeah. what Yeah, I brought in a bunch of sand. I I've been bringing it in for uh, weeks now. Just uh, you know, bags and bags of sand and uh dump dumping them all over the floor. Okay. And, and for I, I have extra bags if you guys are interested. Uh I can give you those extra bags. There's like uh five bags that I did I didn't use cuz honestly it's getting too deep. But, I mean, if you guys don't want those, I'll, I can just flush that sand down the toilet. I'm I'm sorry, sir. What apartment are you in? Uh, 1908. I mean, 1820. Um, uh, that, that's not an apartment that we have here. I don't know. Ho Home What's of Tree is really failing me on this one. What's your name? But it, it doesn't matter. Uh, I was just wondering, is that the sort of thing that you guys might reimburse me for? Well, I can't give you an answer because I'm not really sure what exactly you're talking about. Oh, sand on the floor. I put sand down on the floor. Okay, but why? 
uh, for like a beach theme. It feels good on your feet. You don't have to put on slippers in the middle of the night when you get up to pee. If you pee on the floor next to the toilet, it doesn't even matter because it's in the sand. Sir, what's your name? Glenn. Lynn? Yeah, Lynn. And you have so, an apartment here with us? Yeah. Yep, here at the on road. Okay, but you don't know what apartment you live in? No, I do. I'm just saying it doesn't matter. I, like, uh, you're you're being kind of weird about this whole thing, and I don't want to get in trouble. Well, because I'm not really understanding, like, what's going on. So that's why I'm trying to ask questions to kind of figure out as to why, like, you would dump f- over five pounds of sand or five bags of sand oh, all no. throughout your apartment. It is more like uh, 53 bags of sand. Well, 48 bags of sand because uh, I didn't use about five of them. I just have five bags left over. So okay. there's a uh, two to three inches of sand on all of the all of the floors in my entire apartment, except right in oh. front of the door. I had to kind of build like a little thing in front of the door so it wouldn't, uh, you know, hold the door shut in the front door. Okay, and you said your name was Lynn. Yes. And you currently live here. Yes. So, do you know, will they reimburse me for the sand? Well, let me see. I can't really pull up your account, so I would kind of have to do that. To well, would they reimburse a- anybody for the sand if they did that? If they improved the apartment by putting sand on the floors? Is this like a prank? No. Because this improves the floors, you know? Like, um, you don't have to replace them as much. When I move out, I can just leave it here and the next tenants can take advantage of it. Okay, sir. Sir, are you able to... Can you give me your apartment number, please? For what reason? I don't need anybody coming over right now. Like, I know it sounds cool and you probably want to see it, but please don't invite yourself over to my apartment. Well, I'm not going to come over to see it. I'm just trying to pull up your account, but I'm not really getting anything with just Lynn. Yeah, well, just, like, don't even worry about that part. Do you know if that's the sort of thing they would reimburse for? Because it costs a lot more money than I was expecting. Like Sam's well, it's not of, really something that we would reimburse for. It would actually be something that you would get charged for because we would have to remove all of that sand from your apartment. Oh, so I have to remove it when I move out? Okay, that, that's no problem. I'll, I'll uh, scoop it all up when I move out. I'll flush it down the toilet or whatever. I might just get tired of the beach theme. I just figured you guys would leave it here for the next tenants. Yeah, most certainly not. Okay, well, you don't need to charge me for it. You don't need to be making weird threats. Oh, uh, it's not really a threat. I mean, that is kind of like damages to the unit. How does it damage um, anything? It's just sand. Yeah, a lot of sand that you put all throughout the apartment. Like, is this serious? You really put sand in your apartment? Yeah, it's like a beach theme. You've seen people do that on TikTok, right? No, I have not. Oh, well, you should search for it. It's awesome. Yeah, so that's probably something that you would end up getting charged for because we would have to clean all of the sand out of your apartment when you move. No, I'll I'll clean the sand myself uh, when I move. I can probably sell it or something, I guess. But we also have a swimming pool in the living room. So it's just kind of a, a whole beach theme here. Okay. Okay. Well, you're not going to reimburse me. That's fine. I don't need reimbursed. I was just checking. That's all. All right. And I'm really glad I didn't give you my apartment number because you're talking about charging me for stuff. Hello? Okay. Mm-hmm. You're very quiet. I mean, I'm I'm not sure. Do you have any more questions that you wanted me to answer, or? Uh, no, that's it. Um, okay. Do you guys need any extra bags of sand? I have like five left, and I didn't keep any of the receipts. I can just leave them down there for you, or set them. Uh, no, we don't. We don't. So I should just flush those down the toilet. Uh, preferably not flush them down the toilet because that would probably mess up the sewage. Oh, I don't think so. Yeah, but it probably would. They're just heavy, if and I don't want to carry five them. Five pounds of. I don't want to carry them all the way to the dumpster. Well, I mean, you carried all of them to your apartment, so... Yeah, but I had my friend's dolly. You know, his hand truck thing. Yeah, you might want to ask your friend if you can borrow their dolly again. 
for no, uh, yeah, maybe. Me yeah. and him aren't really on speaking terms anymore. Oh. Okay. Sorry. Well, you might have to invest in one then. I heard they sell them cheap at Home Depot. Yeah, well, if you guys aren't going to reimburse me for the sand, I don't have a lot of money this month. Mm, yeah, I mean, there's not really a reason for us to reimburse you for unloading a lot of sand into your apartment. Because um, that's, you know, not something we would in- reimburse anybody for. Okay. That's fine. I'll pay for it. Just don't pretend like you're going to charge me. Like a. Well, like a I mean, they canoe. probably will. Like, if you move out and there's a lot of sand in there, you would probably get charged damage. There's not going to be sand. I have a vacuum cleaner. Okay. Well, I'm just letting you know. I'll vacuum it up. Like, all the stuff that I can't get flushed down the toilet, I'll vacuum it up. And then I'll empty out the vacuum into the toilet. Ma'am, will you hang up the phone? I'm sorry? Hang up the phone. Why so? Because we're done talking. You said you... I, I asked my question. The answer is no. Hang up the phone. You hang it up right now. You said your name is Lynn? Yes. So you hang up that phone, ma'am. Is, like, the apartment manager in? Yeah, that's Maybe, me. Oh, How can I shit. help? Well, I just figured if you were the apartment manager, you'd have better negotiating skills. Uh, not really when it comes to sand being deposited into one of our apartments. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You've been very unhelpful. Hang up that phone. Hang it up. I order you to hang no, up. Sir. What? No, sir. Why? I take orders from my higher up. Oh, well, I command you to hang up that goddamn phone. I will not be doing that. Why not? It seems like a waste of time for you to just sit here and be on the phone with me. You probably have things to do, yeah. don't you? I mean, I'm, I can still do what I'm doing. What are you doing? My workly duties. So you're touching it? Ma'am, you better hang up that phone. Is there a reason, like, you're being, like, hostile with me? Because you won't, you won't reimburse me for the sand. Is there a reason well, you're not hanging up? asked you to put sand in your apartment. What? I mean, that's not something we're going to reimburse you for. Why are you not hanging up the phone? You're being a total bitch by not hanging up the phone. Oh, my God. Why are you being so rude? Because you won't hang up the phone. You need to hang up that damn phone, lady. This hey. has got to be a prank. If so, this is not how you talk to human beings, like, at all. You're, you're being a total bee, though. Okay. Just hang up that that phone, lady. I mean, like, okay. what if somebody else wants to call? I have another line. Yeah, but what's the point in just sitting on the phone with me? Well, because I mean, I'd like to kind of understand like why you would put sand in your apartment and what apartment you're referencing putting sand in. No, I don't want to tell you that. Unless like this is just a whole like prank, and you literally just called my line just to like waste my time. No, I live here. I'm just you're you're acting like you're going to charge me for the sand. I was I mean, just trying yeah, to ask a simple question. You would get charged for that. That's something you would get charged for. Okay, well, I was just if you left like you know, thousands of pounds of sand in all over your apartment. Even if you say you're going to vacuum up and dump it in the toilet, that would cause damages to the toilet, and you could potentially get charged for that. Too. No, it wouldn't. Like, if you just yeah, flush it a little bit at, at a time. Like, you guys pay I for mean, the water, you right? be there for days on end. No, we don't pay for the water. Okay, well, see, there's no problem then. I'll pay for all the flushing. Okay, Mr. Lynn, well, you have a great day. No, Lynn's my first name. Okay. And, and you better hang up that damn phone right now. Why are you being rude? Because you won't hang up the phone. Just hang up the phone, lady. <coughs> there, she finally hung up. All I had to do was say the D word, and she hung up that phone. And on that listing on Hometry, there, there's just no apartment numbers at all. I'm not sure why, but even when there's apartment numbers, they usually don't give me building numbers. So whatever. Thank you for calling. This is Sydney. How can I assist you? Hey, Sydney. I'm a tenant here at the apartments. And I just have a question about my swimming pool. 
I'm sorry. Could you repeat that for me? Oh, uh, I have a question about my swimming pool. I put a swimming pool in the bedroom. Are, are you trying to call? Yeah, five thirty three. Yes. Which apartment number are you talking about? Uh, what are the choices? Uh, C. Are you a current resident? Yes, I currently live here, and I've turned one of the bedrooms into a swimming pool. And, and I had what to, did you say your apartment number was? C. And I had to cut the door in half, the door into the bedroom, because that's the only way to get in. I, I cut it into thirds, really. So I have two-thirds of a door. Do you want that door back? I'm, I'm sorry, what was your name? Roy. Roy, what was your last name? Uh, it doesn't even matter. I'm just trying to find out. You don't need to know my apartment number. I just wanted to find out, do you want part of a door back? I'm sorry, do you mind if I put you on a brief hold? Mm, I guess not. Okay, I'll be right back. Where are you going? What the hell? What is that noise? It's like the record's skipping. Hey, thanks for holding. This is Bree. How can I help you? Hey, Bree. Uh, I just have my old bedroom door. I was wondering if you guys wanted that. Like, if you have a place in, for, you know, to store it or whatever. You, you took your bedroom door off? Yeah, well, I, um, I, I converted one of the bedrooms into a swimming pool. Because I don't like to go out to the pool that's there, you know, outside. And you're a resident of... Yes. Yeah, I, I, we put um, thick plastic up on the walls and just turned the bedroom itself into a pool. Okay. The, uh, I don't... Did you speak to somebody saying that that was okay? I don't think oh, that's no, allowed. No, no we've, we've had it like this for about a month and a half, ever since uh, summer kind of started. But, like, uh, you know, the, the door would be... We wouldn't be able to open the door if, if there was water in here, so... Uh, we just put kind of a barrier that we step over to get into the pool. So we don't really need the door, and we don't have a place to put the door. So um, okay. do you guys want the door? Should I just leave it down in the lobby or something? What is your apartment number? Oh, well, that, that doesn't matter. Like, I don't need you to pull up my account or anything. I was just, like, you know, I have one of the well, doors. Well we'll, well, we'll need it if we're going to get the door. Why? I can just leave it by the pool down there or in the lobby or whatever. So we're not able to do that. You're not able to have a pool like in your apartment. Yeah, well, the pool's not in the apartment. The pool is the bedroom. Like the apartment is the pool, basically. Right. We, you, you can't flood like a space. Well, we didn't flood it. It's we, we've got um, industrial strength plastic up there, and it's not gonna, right. Like that. That's not allowed. It's not going to leak through. Like it's not a problem. I'm just saying we, we have an extra door, and we were using it as, as like a pool float toy, but at this point, it's just kind of in the way. Okay. Like, like I said, we don't allow that. Um, it's actually against your lease contract. Okay. Well, we're just doing it for a little while. You know, like, we'll probably take it down before Christmas, because we've had to move the, you know, most of the bedroom into the living room. Okay. Um... What is what is your last name? What's your first and last name? Uh, it's just Roy. I just go by Roy. Roy. So you won't take okay, the you won't take the door. You don't have like storage or something around here for a door. No, because um, all of our doors are supposed to remain secured. Okay. Well, we had to take it yeah, down it, so we could get into the pool. Like it'd be stupid to have a pool in there if we couldn't get out of the room. Right. You know? it, right. I, I understand what you're saying. However, you're not allowed to have a pool like in your apartment. I don't like going out to the outside pool, though. I, I understand. Unfortunately, it's a it's a safety issue and stuff like that. Like, I understand you're saying that you put up all this stuff, however, if it bursts, um, it could leak down into somebody else's apartment. Oh, yeah, um, definitely. There's just, like, so much that can go wrong. So, it's not allowed. Well, I, we have rules and everything. We don't let anybody in with, like, you know, sharp stuff on their clothes or piercings. So it's not going to get ripped. The plastic's very secure. We built a frame okay. around the entire room. 
So we've got a room-sized swimming pool. Interesting. Okay. Um, and you sure you're a resident of Yeah, of course. At 530 Street. Right. And you refuse to tell me your apartment number? Well, I, I just don't see why you need it. This this is a safety concern, so that's why we kind of need it. Oh, don't be silly. <laughs> like, I, I know how to swim. My roommate knows how to swim. We're fine. We're not going to die in the pool. Right, but you're not supposed to have, like, a room converted into a swimming pool. Okay, well, it's just one room. Like, we still have the rest of the apartment that's completely normal, except for the sand on the floors. Because we're doing, like, a beach theme this year. Okay. However, <laughs> you're not allowed to have, like, a swimming pool in your apartment. It goes against your lease contract. What about the sand on the floors? That's another thing. There's sand under, underneath the pool. I, I so, hate to say this, but is this a prank call? No, ma'am. You have sand in your apartment? Yeah, just on all the floors, because it's like a beach theme. So we, we brought in uh, about 50, I think 40-something bags of sand and just dumped them all over the floor, like on top of the carpets and floors and everything in the kitchen and the living room and the bathroom. So the, the whole thing's like a beach theme, and then we've got those... Uh, you know, inflatable palm trees and it's, just, right. it's ambience. Got it. Okay. <sighs> However, this, again, like this goes against your lease contract. So that's like you're, you're in a lease violation now. Um, well, like this is not. <laughs> that's, that's not how you get me to tell you my apartment number. <laughs> right. So, I mean, it doesn't sound like you're going to give it to me, but you will need to remove all the sand and you know, take away, like, the swimming pool and safely remove the water, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, we'll just, we'll uh, siphon it into the toilet uh, so we don't have to pay for all the flushing uh, when we flush the sand down the toilet. That was No, our, don't do that. That was No, that's just our plan, so, because that way we won't uh, use up the apartment's water when we flush all right, the sand. Right, but if you put sand in a toilet, that's going to ruin the plumbing for the entire building. Oh, we already flushed the uh, excess bags of sand down the toilet because we had too many bags and the sand was getting entirely too deep. Okay. Um, I'm going to put you on a brief hold. Hang on one second. Okay. It's just like two or three inches deep, the sand. Okay. Hang on one second. Where, where are you going? We need to pick up that needle and move it to the beginning of the record. That's the weirdest hold thing. It seriously sounds like the end of a record. What would cause this, you guys? Tell me what makes this happen. Oh, she picked up and hung up. And I heard some angry lady in the background. Maybe they could hear me the whole time. I keep getting uh, an anonymous call, and I can't tell what line they're calling on. Let's see if this is one of the apartments. Hello? 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 Oh, hi. Who's this? Hi. Hi. Who's this? Oh, no. Who's this? Hi. Hi. Who's this? Who are you? Hi. Hi. Who are you? Hi. What are you calling for? Is this a prank call? Are you calling for a prank call? No, you called me. Wait, you called me? Nuh-uh, my phone rang. Who is, who is this? Who are you? I don't know, you called me. You don't know who you are because I called you? Yeah. But you called me. You called me. No, my phone rang. I picked it up. No, my phone No, I have. I picked mine up. I have the call logs here. I do too. Listen, you hang up that damn phone. You. Me? Yeah. Okay, bye. All right, that was weird. I did not like that at all. And why is she calling me anonymous? How does she do that? She's some kind of hacker or something? Good afternoon. Thank you for calling. This is John speaking. How can I help you? Hey, John. I'm a resident here at the apartments. Yes, and, and, and what's your name and your apartment number? That's uh, Roy. I'm not in my apartment, so it doesn't matter, but... 
Uh, I'm up on the roof, and my ladder fell. Is there any way somebody could come over and get my ladder? Okay, wait a minute. You're you're a resident here, and you're on the roof. Yes, I'm. I'm up on the roof. For... Sorry. Why are you on the roof? Oh, I was installing some uh, brackets on the roof. Did you get permission to do so? Oh no, no. I'm just uh, I'm putting the brackets down. It's for a, a solar panel array. Yeah, you need to have that approved by the property manager first before you're on the roof and altering the building. Well, no, it's it's like I, I just I, I'm not altering the building. I'm just putting brackets on the roof and the solar still, cells. Still, that's still sir. That's still still the solar. Sir, you, <laughs> the solar cells you're are going to get installing something. You're installing something that's not authorized to be installed. I've already paid for the solar cells. I'm not charging you guys for it yeah. or anything. You're, of course not, but you're installing something on the building that you haven't gotten approval from the building owners from. Well, they're correct? just they're simple brackets. They they go underneath the it shingles. It doesn't matter, sir. They it go, doesn't matter, they sir. They go underneath the shingles. Like you're not even going to see them. It doesn't. Then, you're not supposed to be on the roof one, and you're not supposed to be installing things to the building without approval. Okay. Well, I don't see why you you're getting understand so, what I'm. Why are you getting so mad? Th- no, I'm. I'm. I'm just confused because you're doing something that wasn't approved by (laughs) the property management. You're hollering at me though. Like I'm just trying to install solar cells because you guys don't have them already. But you didn't, but you didn't get it approved to do so. It's going to make the roof. That's why I'm, I'm I'm wondering why you're doing something that you haven't gotten approval for. So you're not going to come over and pick up my ladder because you're angry. And you shouldn't have beat on the roof, sir. That is a fire. That is a safety hazard, sir. It's not a fire you hazard. You should know better than that. I'm just putting brackets up. No, it's not a fire up. hazard. It's a safety hazard, one. It's a safety hazard, one, for you to even be on the roof. Okay, one, I used to do roofing for a living, so I'm not an idiot. I'm not going to okay, fall off the roof. Okay, it doesn't matter. It doesn't, sir, it doesn't matter. You should not be on the roof. Okay, well, I am on what, the roof. What is, what's the apartment number so, that so you are on? You're just going to strand me up here what, all day. What, sir? Because I'm not sir, supposed to be up here. <laughs> Sir, first of all, where, what apartment number are you in? It doesn't matter. I'm not in the apartment. I'm on the roof. Well, if you want me to, if you want assistance, I need to know your apartment number. And if you don't want to give it to me, then you're going to have to call the police. Just come outside. Or the fire department pick up to get my, you down. Oh, okay. I'm going to tell the police that you wouldn't pick up my ladder because you're a You you're won't a tell me where you live, sir. You're being, sir, you're being why a, are you on the roof? You're being a douche canoe. I told you I'm on the roof to install the brackets. Okay. What is your apartment number? I'm not in my apartment. I'm on the roof. Okay, well, I need to know the building that you're on the roof of. I'm going to put these solar cells on here. They arrive on Thursday. Sir, what you tell me, I don't know, but you, you need to tell me what building you're on. It's going to be for my car charger. I have a, I'm getting a Tesla. We have a, already a car charging station on the community. Yeah, but it's bullshit. Okay, well, it doesn't matter if it's bullshit or not. You're not supposed to install anything on the roof to charge your Tesla. Okay, so well, it's too late. What building number are you on? It's too late. I've installed half the brackets, and I'm getting ready to install sir, the rest of them. Okay. So, you, so you, what you, build, are you going to tell me what building number you are in? You go ahead. I'm not in a building. I'm on the roof. And you go ahead and the leave. The roof of what building, sir? You go the ahead. The roof of what building? You go ahead and leave me up here, and I'm going to finish installing these brackets. The, the roof of what building? Are you going to answer me or no? It's none of your damn business, you douche canoe. It's none of my damn business. Okay, well, I guess you're just going to be on the roof then. Good. I'm going to finish installing the brackets. I've got a right. Okay, and then when I find out when I find out what building you're in, you're definitely going to be getting a management notice. I've got a Ryobi impact should- drill. I'm I'm like using that to finish installing these brackets sir, what underneath you're doing. all the shingles. Okay, you're definitely going to get a management notice. Bullshit, I am. Oh, okay. Like I what? promise you that. You, you don't you don't you don't I think promise you, you don't that. think we need solar cells in this day and age? The Earth's heating sir, up. Sir, it doesn't. Sir, you did not even communicate nothing to the office to get any approval done. You cannot sit there. That is a breach of your lease contract. We can terminate your lease contract just doing that alone. Oh, okay. Yeah, that'll look real good for you on social media. I'll leave a bad it Yelp, it Yelp review. It doesn't. You Sure, you absolutely can. Oh, and I will. That doesn't matter. At the end of the day, I have to take care of my property. And if you're on the roof and you're tampering with my roof, 
I'm not tampering with them. I'm just no. installing brackets. Sir, it don't matter. It does not matter. Yes, it does. And you are not a contractor. You did not get approval. You did not go through the necessary channels that you needed to take. Contractors are expensive. It do- it, sir, it don't matter. You did not take any measures to get any reasonable accommodations made from your request first. Because I would have had to deal with you. you started to do it. Yes, exactly. That's who you have to deal with. Yeah, why would I me. want to? Listen to yourself. You won't even rescue me from the roof. You're kind of a dick. You won't even tell me where you are to rescue you. So look at you. Well, go outside. Look around. Look where the ladder is on the ground. Sir, you fucking idiot. Sir, we, we have 13 buildings. You tell me which one you're at. Why, why, why is it so difficult for me? Why, for, why is it so difficult for you to tell me where you live? Well, just take a walk. And you, who you, you can are. stand to lose some weight, sir. Sir, you obviously don't know what I look like. But anyway, that's besides the point. Is it? You, you want me to help you, but you won't let me know no, who you, you just, are. Just leave me up here. And I you don't won't care. let me know. I'll, I'll just climb around and go in someone's window and I'll go in that way. Okay, and then you'll definitely find yourself in more trouble. Than well, I'll knock on their yet. window. I'll ask them if it's okay if I come in their window. Sir, why do you got to be so difficult? Oh, you're the one being difficult. I'm just trying to put solar panels up on my roof. It's that ab- you didn't get authorized to do so. It's okay. above my apartment. But anyway. I own this part of the roof while I live here. You don't, own, you don't own nothing. You're renting. <laughs> oh, rub it in. What, are you a homeowner? You okay. think you're better than me? Sir... You are just so challenging, but I'm trying to help you and you won't let me. Yeah, right. You're acting like you're better than me because you own a home. I don't own a home. Thank you. But anyway. Then why, why, are, um, you, why are you being like, eh, you don't own anything, you renter? No, you, you're the one that said you own the roof. You're talking, you you're talking roof. down to me. Okay, sir. I'm going to hang up the phone. Oh, I hope you do hang up the phone. And, okay. Have a great day. Can I talk to someone Bye-bye. else there first, though? I was hoping he'd pass me to somebody else because I could hear people in the background. That guy kind of sounded like fake angry. I think you guys are going to think that I hired an actor on that one, but I swear I didn't. The guy was completely real. That's actually his angry voice. You remember how much of a problem it was for me to install a, a car charger in front of my parking space at that other apartment? Apparently it's just as hard to put solar panels on your roof. Like apartment people just hate the earth, but I mean it's pretty cool that they actually have a car charger at that apartment. It does look like kind of a fancy apartment, and I guess they have 13 buildings according to that guy. A two-story roof, I basically could just jump off of it and I'd probably be fine. Go down there and get my own ladder since he's being such a dick about it. Thank you for calling me. This is Jared, how can I help? Hey Jared, I'm having a yard sale on Friday. Uh, where should I put all my stuff? Like should I put it out in the parking lot or in the table area? So just, you cannot uh, solicitate on the property. Oh, no, I'm, I've already put the ads up and everything. We're having kind of a large yard sale on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So I could set up in the, okay. in, in the gym area maybe? or but We cannot the, solicitate on the property. By the pool? We cannot solicitate in the community. So I just have to have everyone come up into my apartment? That's kind of inconvenient. I understand you cannot solicitate on the property. Okay, well, I'm not solicitating. I'm just having a yard sale. You're making a sale that's solicitating. Yeah, but, you know, I have, like, free piles, too. They can get free stuff. I understand, um, but unfortunately, you cannot do that. So just out in the parking lot? anywhere for you to do that. Should I switch it each day, like, where it is? I'm just relaying the information. Um, I will say that if anything that does happen, I'll just you know have to go through my manager and see what she wants to do, but you cannot make those sales on the property like you're suggesting. Will I get a fine? Like I said, if something like that to happen, I'll definitely be talking to my manager and she'd have to proceed further, but I'm just giving you the information. Okay, um, well, I'm just trying to find out right how now. much I have to make in order to offset the fine. I don't know that answer for you, but it'd be best for you to uh, do everything online. Okay. Well, uh, if I was going to break the rules anyway, uh, like where would you suggest that I set up? Online. No, not online. Like here on the premises. Nowhere. That's not an answer. That's come on. Don't be a dick. Like by the pool. I'm not. I'm, I, I don't want like kids I to fall in the pool. I cannot allow you to. I cannot allow to use this late like that on the property. On the roof. We have flat roofs. No, you're not even allowed on on the roof. I've been on the roof. 
oh, then you're also breaking the signs that say do not go on the roof. I know, but uh, maybe I don't read English. How about in, okay. the, in the bike room? I'm sorry, you cannot solicit on the property. Okay, well, nobody's going to take the bikes. I'm not going to let anyone walk out of there with the bikes. I'm sorry, but you cannot. And that's the only answer I'm going to be able to provide for you Sir, today. I'm having a yard sale on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Weather permitting. Thank you for relaying that information. All right. I love you. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. You want to do it? I hope you have a good day, sir. All right. I hope you do, too. I'll see you on Friday. I've never gotten that response when I said I love you to someone. That was kind of flattering. And see, not only can apartment people not have car chargers and solar cells on their roof, but they can't have yard sales either. That's bullshit. That was kind of a fancy place, though. I think I might be in like a downtown area, maybe. So I need to find a more normal looking apartment building that's not, you know, five or six stories tall. But I'm having a hard time with that because I'm calling apartments in a big city. Maybe I should move on. Let's let's move on to uh, south of the city. This apartment's time to help you. Hey, I'm a resident here at the apartments currently, and um, I'm a, I'm gonna be having a yard sale on Saturday and Sunday. Okay, you're in. You're calling the wrong apartment complex. Oh no, I'm not on <laughs> Street. You're not having a yard sale at a <laughs> village. Okay, well I'm not calling the wrong number. Don't be like that. What, why are you well, saying you're I'm calling not the wrong? One of my because I can recognize the voice. Okay, well, I just stay on the couch, sir. But I've already rented the tables well, and you're everything. Not a, you're not a tenant. Okay, well, the fact is, I'm having a yard sale on Saturday no, and you're Sunday. Not having a yard in sale. the parking lot. No, and you're not. Yes, I am, and I just. No, you're not. It's against the law here. It's not against the law. Don't be an idiot. Wow, how does he know everybody? Not even a nice apartment building. What's he worried about? Thank you for calling. This is Julia. How can I help you? Hey, Julia. I'm a resident here at the apartments. And uh, I'm having a yard sale on Saturday and Sunday. Do I just set that up outside my outside my door, kind of? I'm gonna have about fifteen tables, um, fifteen tables set up. Okay, you actually aren't able to hold something like that on the community grounds, unfortunately. Oh no, it's too late. I've already uh, I've set it up through uh, you know Fate Marketplace and next door, and everything, and I've rented the tables. It's going to be on Saturday and Sunday. Okay. Um, I mean, unfortunately, we aren't able to allow you to do that. It does go against the terms set forth in the resident handbook. We don't allow, like, yard sales and garage sales and things like that to be held on the community. Why not? How am I supposed to sell all my old stuff? I, I can't answer that, but you can't do it in the form of a yard sale on the community ground. Okay. I'll call it a garage sale then. So I just do it on the grass, uh, like no. by the park? No, you're not able to put things, like, you're not able to do something like that on the community grounds. You can't we, set I, out, like, tables and... Yeah, tables and uh, clothes racks, ladders, lawnmowers. Uh, my my mother-in-law died. We're, we're uh, selling a lot of her stuff. Okay, and I'm sorry to hear that, but unfortunately, you're not, not able to hold something like a yard sale or a garage sale here on the grounds of the community okay you would well you do it somewhere i'm else. gonna do it so if i was gonna do it anyway uh where would you set it up where would i can't answer that question i can't answer that question because i can't allow you to have it on the grounds of the community okay well i'm gonna do it anyway i'm just i was just asking what's the most convenient place should i just do it out in the parking lot it's, sir, I can't answer that question because there's not a convenient place for you to do it because you can't block the sidewalks, you can't block the parking lots, you can't block parking spaces from other residents and things like that. I'm sure I'll figure something out. Like, we've got a few places in mind. We'll just start setting up on Saturday morning. Oh, okay, and I if... if you're here on Saturday morning, the um, leasing consultant that's here is going to have to ask you to not set it up they're gonna they're not gonna let you set that up well, what if i do it anyway like what are they gonna do it can result in a lease violation for the leaseholder so i just get a fine do you currently live with us yes okay so a lease violation can result in lease termination it's not a fine it can be a lease termination well they're not gonna go that far with it. i'm a good tenant i always pay my rent 
I'm just going to have a yard sale on Saturday and Sunday. It's just a normal yard sale. Don't worry about it. Okay, but it's not a normal yard sale because they're in the grounds of an apartment community. So the grounds belong to everybody. You can't block off areas. You can't commandeer well, areas. Just no, they can yourself. still come into my area and like browse at all my yard sale stuff. Okay, that's but fine. No, we don't allow that. Listen, though, lady, we're we having a yard it, sale, sir. So they're not going to forcibly I remove am, my yard sale, are they? Or, or they're not going to come around and cause problems because I don't want that. If you have the yard sale, we will have to come out and ask you to remove the items because we don't allow you to do that in the grounds of the community. Oh, my wife won't like that. She'll probably get up in the person's face and start yelling at them. Okay, and if that happens, then we'll handle it from there. But it is against the rules in the community guidelines to have a yard sale on site. Well, what if I had my brother-in-law uh, set it all up and it'll just like not even be a part of my name, I guess, basically? They'll just kind of show up here and then, set up all the tables. But if I happen to be around we'll browsing. Them, then we'll ask them to leave because they're not a part of the community. And if they refuse to leave, we will involve law enforcement. Well, no, he's visiting me. Then you will still receive a lease violation because you're responsible for your guests while they're here. He's been staying on my couch for a month, though, so it's fine. He basically okay. lives here. That's that's also a lease violation for having an unregistered. Oh my occupant. God! What what is an a lease violation around here? I can send you a copy of your lease agreement if you would like, so that you may review it. No, thank you. That sounds boring. Uh, yeah, we we already got the tables and everything up here. We're gonna show up with the U-Haul and unload everything and sell it on Saturday and Sunday. Okay, then we will meet you out there and ask that you not do that. Okay, well, and we'll continue to do it. We will defy your orders. Okay, if that's what you feel is necessary. Well, we need to have a yard sale. How are we supposed to get rid of all this stuff? Have it at my mother-in-law's can, old house? Don't be silly. I, if, if that's what's necessary, then unfortunately, I mean, you can't have a yard sale on the community grounds. Oh, I'm having one on the community grounds. What's better, the parking lot or like the swimming pool area? Sir, you know I'm not going to answer that question. Please? Why not? Because if you have it in either one of those areas, we will call the police and have the police remove you from the property to remove those items. You're being kind of a jerk about the whole thing, though. I'm not being a jerk about it because it's against the rules of the lease agreement and the community guidelines. You're always just going on about the rules. I'm just trying to have a okay, yard sale. Sir, what? Okay, and I've told you that you can't have this yard sale here. Oh, I'm having the yard sale. Is there someone else there that I can negotiate with? No, sir. I'm the property manager. Well, you're bad at negotiating. You're horrible at it. Okay. It's not a negotiation to have because there's a rule that says you can't do it. There's no negotiating against that. Well, I'm still going to do it. So I win the negotiations. Um, oh, okay. All right, we'll see you on Saturday then. Like, are, are you going to be this terrible at telling us to leave too? If you would like to have your yard sale on Saturday, please proceed. But okay. I will meet you there on Saturday and let you know that I've you cannot have it. I have a recording of that. You said that if I can have a yard okay. sale on Saturday so then, and to please proceed. Then you've, got, and then you've got a recording of the whole conversation where I've said repeatedly that you can't have this. If this is how the conversation is going to continue to go, then I am going to get off the phone with you because we are just talking in circles at this point in time. And I have made the point very clear that we do not allow yard sales on the community grounds. And I have made it clear what will happen if you have a yard sale this weekend. You can still buy stuff at my yard sale. I'm not going to hold a grudge against you. You're welcome to buy anything you okay. want. There's like a lot of nice stuff and we're pricing it fairly. Okay, sir, we've we've completed this conversation. I've told you that you cannot have a yard sale this weekend. If you do have a yard sale this weekend, I will be out and I will ask that you leave, remove the items from the community and have a yard sale elsewhere. I'm just going to have the part pulled up where you said to have the yard sale, to go ahead and to proceed. Okay. Okay, well, I also have the whole conversation because our calls are recorded as well where I've said repeatedly that you cannot have a yard sale. Okay, well, uh, it's going to be your word against mine because my recordings will all say that you said it's fine. Okay. So I win. I win the negotiations. Is, We're having the yard sale. Is, 
Is there anything else that I can help you with? You don't want my apartment number or anything? I will meet you here on Saturday, but if you would like to give me your apartment number, I will take that. No, thanks. Okay. All right. Have a nice day. Thank you. You too. Bye. See you Saturday. Bye-bye. She totally gave me permission, right? Listen to this. If you would like to have your yard sale on Saturday, please proceed. See, that right there is permission. I am legally allowed to now have a yard sale on their property because after that, she went on to say, I have made the point very clear that we do not allow yard sales on the community grounds. See, she said they do allow yard sales on the community grounds. She can play the rest for them, but it's very clear that I won the negotiations and she changed her mind and she finally agreed with me. If that's what's necessary, then you can have a yard sale on the community grounds. If anyone would like to come to my yard sale this weekend, it's going to be at the Oakview Apartments in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Cash or Venmo only. There's going to be a lot of really good prices. Thank you for um, calling. How may I help you? Hey, I'm a resident here at the apartments. Yes. And I'm on the roof right now. Uh, my ladder fell over. Is there any way anyone can come over here and just pick up my ladder? So I can get down off the roof. Your ladder fell. What are you doing on the roof and your ladder fell down? I was putting up some. Why would you be on the roof? I was putting up brackets. I'm installing brackets. I'm bolting them down underneath the shingles. What's your name? Roy. And what building you at? Uh, what, uh is it K? Is K a building? No. If you're on the roof, you should know where you at. Well, I'm up on the roof. I don't know. I can't see the building. Like, I can lean over the roof, I guess, and try and look at the building. Letter or number? Is it, a, is it a letter or a number? All right, I got put on hold. Nope, they're gone. Okay. I guess somebody told her to hang up. Management, this Vicky may help you. Hey, Vicky. I'm a resident here. I'm a tenant. Okay, okay where? Um, here at the apartments at on Mil Oh, okay. Was well, this not the actual apartments? Did I reach an answering service? No, you reached um, a number we use for emergency maintenance as well. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, yeah. it's, it's not an emergency. I'm just up on the roof, but my ladder fell down. And who's this? Uh, it's Roy. Huh? Roy. Roy. Yeah, is there any way someone hey. could just like drop by and set my ladder back up so I can get down once I'm done uh, installing these okay. brackets? You're installing brackets? Are, do you work for Jack? Oh, no, no, I'm just a resident here. No. I'm just, I'm putting up brackets for the solar cells. It f apartments? Yes. Yeah, I'm going to be putting panels up. Like okay. solar panels? Um, I'll reach out to Adrian and Danielle. They're out and about right now. Okay. And uh, see if they can't uh, swing by. What building are you on? Um, I'm at 802. You're in building 8. Okay. Yep. So uh, they're not going to like climb up the ladder and hassle me, are they, about the brackets? Oh, oh I don't know. What, what? I mean, what are you? You're a tenant, but you're not allowed to mount anything to, our, to any of the buildings. Well, I'm, I'm going to mount the solar panels to the brackets. And the brackets are going underneath the shingles, kind of, and then they... They poke uh, out. Did you get permission from Adrian to do that? Oh, no. Nope. Adrian doesn't even like me that much. Oh, uh, well, you're not allowed to do that. Oh, well, I've already started. I'm just going to finish putting up the brackets okay. tonight, and then the solar cells no, arrive on Friday. I wouldn't, I wouldn't put them up. Well, he, is because, he there? Uh, no, no solar or nothing up there. She, um, well, it's, you know, I'm it's just letting you know, we do not allow anybody to install or mount anything on any of our buildings. Well, that's why I'm putting them on the brackets. No, you're, but you're putting the brackets in the roof. Yeah. They're just but you can't do that. We do not allow any mounting. Uh, is no it, brackets whatsoever. Is Adrian there? No, she's out and about, like I said. Well, I'm fixing like the out, collar. Out and about okay. on the property? Can we call her on three-way? No, she's out about through Decatur. We manage more than just the apartment. Okay, well, you know, don't brag or okay. anything. I'm just, just asking, jeez. But she's out and about, but I will get in touch with her. Okay, tell her okay. I'm, de I'm definitely putting up solar panels. I've already ordered them. Well, I'm sorry. You, <laughs> I want to cancel it, but okay. Oh, I'm not going to cancel it. Her. No, I'm going to hook them up. 
I just have to drill this hole real quick so I can run the uh, well, electrical the cables. The will definitely have something to do with that. But I, I got to drill the I hole run, you that. to run the electrical wire. We're not the owners wire. of it. Okay. Okay. Nope. But uh, I'll get with Adrian. I'm going to bring All the right. electrical wire in through my ceiling and then uh, into the, the breaker box. I'll get with Adrian. No. Nope. nope. Into the nope. breaker box. I'm sure that's not okay. Nope. Yes, it is. Nope. <laughs> can, can Adrian, so anyway, let me get with Adrian. I'm gonna let you go so I can get a hold of her. Okay? Can, can she call me back today? I'm gonna try to get a hold of her. Okay? Is, she, is she gonna call me back though? I don't control Adrian. Okay, well maybe you should <laughs> I'm try. I'm giving her the message. <laughs> okay. T t tell her I'm very insistent that she calls me back. Can I just have her number? You called her number. This is the f number or yeah, the office but, number here in the office. But that's not the number you're calling. No, but I don't See? give out personal numbers. Well, I'll just, I'll three-way her on. No. I'll give you a dial to you it. can just dial it. I will get in touch with her. I'm going to let you go now so I can get on Here, the let phone, Here, okay? let me put on a dial tone, and you can just dial the number. No, Here we go. No, no. You're not going to dial it? Darn it. Somebody was calling me. I should have let her go so I could pick up that call. It's probably just a, an apartment building that I called. Probably just an apartment that I didn't get through to or something, because they love calling people back. If they think someone's interested in renting, I've noticed that like I'll get calls like a week later from these places I'm calling today being like, hey, I noticed we missed your call. Are you looking for an apartment? They all seem desperate to rent. Hey, I've been, um, I'm a tenant here at Wood Apartments mm -hmm. and you're on speakerphone. I've been flushing sand down my toilet. Yes, I know I have an out-of-state phone number. It's because that's where I used to live. Okay, and who am I speaking with? Roy. But, um, I don't I, have a resident by the name of Roy. Well, that's just my nickname. It'd be under Robert. I don't have a resident by the name of Robert either. Look, it doesn't even matter. I've been flushing sand down the toilet, and uh, it won't flush anymore. Okay, what apartment do you live in? Uh, G O one. Okay. So what, and is it upstairs toilet or downstairs toilet? Wouldn't you know that from the apartment number? You are not very good at your job. No, apparently you're not a very good tenant if you don't know you have two bathrooms in that same apartment. Well, I just think it's a stupid question, okay? And I think you're spam. I'm spam. What do you mean I'm spam? If you live in apartment G1, can you not tell me which bathroom is not flushing? Both of them. Because I was, well, I mean, I was flushing the sand down the toilet and then the upstairs bathroom. But now neither one of them will flush. So I think your plumbing's messed up. And why would you be flushing sand? Because that's, I put sand all over my floors for like a beach theme. But we're getting kind of tired of, of, of it because, uh, you know, my cat's pooping all over the floors. So we're just getting rid of it. We're flushing it down the toilet. Have a good day. Why? Why'd you say that? Are you hanging up? What Man? more is there to say? Well, like fix your damn plumbing. Like upgrade your pipes or something. What's the address here? You don't know your own address. No, I'm asking. 224 Tammy Street in Decatur. Okay. Do, I'll get someone to look into it for you. Okay. Do, Thank do you. I win for giving you the address? Not necessarily because it could be Google. Why are you saying I'm spam? That doesn't even make sense. Because I don't have a Robert that lives in that apartment. I'm not going to give you my real name. I'm not an idiot. But if you're a tenant and you're having an issue. Well, does anyone else have an issues with their toilet? Because I flushed a lot of sand down the toilet, and I d didn't start having issues until today. Okay, well, I'll give my instance to look at it for you. Do your pipes just suck here? Excuse me? Do your pipes just suck? I said I can get my instance to take a look at it for you. No, you said excuse me. Say that again? I was asking, do your pipes just suck here in general? No. Well, then why, why won't my toilets flush? Why were you flushing sand? Most people don't flush sand. Because I covered sand the... Sand is not sold into a toilet. 
Well, I covered the floors with sand, and now I'm. And why don't you? You're not at a beach. Well, that's why I did the beach theme because I'm not at a beach. All right, you have a good day. Thank if I you. if I lived on a beach, I wouldn't need to do a beach theme in my apartment, right? The lady asks the dumbest questions. This person's voicemail is disabled. You cannot leave a message. Wow, it's disabled. That's kind of rude. Can't they phrase that a little bit better? Hello. Hey, what's all that noise? I'm in a motor home. Okay, well, calm down. I'm I'm a resident here at their departments. Yes, sir. Um, the the toilet won't flush. I've been flushing a lot of sand down the toilet. Well, wait a minute. Let me get this get this cut off so I can hear you. Yeah, what is it? Is it a smoke Thanks. alarm? You shouldn't be. Sm- no, it's a generator running. You shouldn't be. Sm- uh, you shouldn't be smoking in there. I'm not smoking in there. Well, then why is the smoke alarm going on? I don't on? even smoke. Period. Well, why is the smoke alarm who going on? Who is this? Who Who is this? This is Roy. I I live at the apartments. Are you there? Yeah. What oh, apartment you live at? Oh my at? God! Your smoke detector is still going off. That's uh, not a smoke detector. Okay, well, I've been flushing a lot of sand down my toilet. Uh-huh. And uh, now the toilet won't flush. Well, what what you doing flushing uh, sand down it? Oh, well, uh, a couple months ago, I covered all uh-huh. of the floors in my entire apartment with sand to do kind of like a beach theme. Who gave you permission to do that? Tell me what apartment you're in. Nobody did. I just did it because I wanted to do a beach Tell theme. Tell me what apartment you're in. What's your apartment number? I'm in 4D. 4B? D. 4D? D like W. 4D like W. 4D. Yeah. 4W. 4W. I don't even have a 4W. No, D. The letter D. D is in W. D is in W? Look, sir, it doesn't even matter. I'm just flushing all the sand down my toilet, and now I can't even well, get the toilet. Matters, oh, listen, I'm the one that owns these apartments, and it matters a lot with me. Okay. Hell, you're going to have to tell me who you are and whatever, you know. Well, you need I to... can't just read your mind, and I'm in a motor home, and I'm in Jackson, Mississippi. I told you a bunch okay? of times. It's 4D. D like W. And you get you need to It'd be up, like D like Z like dog, like W. You know D the, like the word W and word. Yeah, W starts with a D, and you're saying B like B B Q. Okay. So you need to What's upgrade. Your last name? You need to upgrade these pipes over here because you know there, there's stuff. How, how about tell me? Hey, let me run my business and you run yours. Okay? okay. Well, you don't do a very good job at it. If my toilet won't even flush. Well, I tell you what, we're doing a damn good job. We stay busy with a waiting list all the time. Well, why is my and toilet not flushing? Are. My toilet's not even flushing. Well, listen, you tell you tell me who you are in building four. And while you're over there smoking okay? smoking weed or cigarettes or whatever. I ain't over there smoking weed, and I don't smoke. I'm 86 years old. Oh, okay. then, why, then why was the smoke alarm going off the whole time? It you, wasn't a damn smoking alarm going off in my place right here. i am got four jacks going down on a 40-foot a motor home, and it makes a beeping sound to let you know when they're through. I can hear the smoke alarm in the now, background. What else, kind of you, what else kind of business do you want to know? Well, I, I just wanted you to fix my damn pipes so I can flush the rest of the sand. Cause I, I got like you don't flush it, you don't put nothing in them damn apartments. We may have have a lawsuit on you to straighten it all out. Oh bullshit! It was like a you be- don't put no sand on nobody's floor. I covered all the floors. Who the shit are you anyhow? I covered all the floors and all the rooms with sand for a beach theme, and then also so my cat could just poop anywhere. Well, you already got a word that was all right to do that. No, I okay? didn't, because I was just going to do it for a few months, and now I'm done with it. So I'm flushing all the sand down the toilet. Stupid. You let me get my uh, maintenance guy over there. How long okay. is that going to take? Because I got a lot of sand. I'm to hoping f- he won't take but just a few minutes, okay? What's he going to do? I don't know what he's going to do, but he's going to see what needs to be done. Is this the apartment that Miss Cannon lives in? Yeah, yeah. You, you, you don't even seem to know what's going on around here. You don't know how he's going to fix the pipes? Sir. What what can you do to Miss Cannon? What's what? Are you kin to, kin to Miss Cannon? 
Yes, I am. She, what can are you to her? And she, I'm her son, and she said I could put sand on all of the floors for a beach theme. We've been walking you're around. Not Miss, you're not Miss Cannon's son that rents an apartment from me. Oh, yes, I am. She don't even, she don't even have a child. Oh, uh, you don't know anything about Miss Cannon, and I stay on the couch. <laughs> and we, we've been walking around barefoot for the past three months because I made a beach theme in here. Well, like, I'm going to tell you one thing. You'd be able. I, I, I wish I'd have known this before I left home. You'd be okay. able. To, you'd be able to comprehend all this a lot better if you weren't over there smoking weed. I wish I could see you face to face. Why? I've never smoked a weed and don't even know what they even look like. Oh yes, you and do. And let me tell you. Let me tell you one more thing, okay? You can get your ass out of that apartment complex, or I'm concerned you're not the one that pays the rent. Well, she's. I own these apartments, and I've had them since 1968. I pay her the rent. And then she pays you. So basically, I do pay the rent. Yes, sir. Let me tell you what. Look in your lease and you'll see that you cannot sublease nothing. So both of you are in a lawsuit now. Okay. I, I don't have a lease because I don't rent from you. That don't matter. Yes, it does. You got your ass there in that apartment complex, haven't you? You're just arguing in circles because you're high on marijuana. I'm not arguing in circles and I ain't on marijuana. I could tell you're on marijuana. I heard the smoke alarm going I'm off. I'm getting off the phone. I'm through with you, okay? All right. Is the maintenance guy going to come over? I just don't get why nobody appreciates that I've upgraded their apartments with sand. Just like Toothpaste for Dinner told me to. And what the hell, Toothpaste for Dinner? I had the, the sand comic pulled up because I was going to use that for show art. But every time I go back to that page, you've hacked my computer and sent me to your other website, the worst things for sale or whatever. I can't even sit here on the sand comic for an hour at a time because your website just transfers me. What is this bullshit? I should be able to stare at my favorite comic for hours without being transferred to another website. By the way, today's show art is by Toothpaste for Dinner. Thanks, ToothpasteForDinner.com. Anyway, I think that last guy is yelling. Uh, that was my cue to end the show now. That's a perfect call to end the show on. Some old man smoking marijuana and saying he's owned the apartment since 1962 or whatever he said. I need to call more apartment buildings in the south if I could just wake up that early. But yeah, that's where I'm going to end it today, which means it's time for voicemails. Cisco Kids, Cactus Corner. Play those voicemails. Red! Snowplow Show. We put the tingle in the downstairs. Hi, it's Danny from Columbus, Ohio. Hey. I've been listening to your shows for several years now. Woohoo! really helps with my depression. That's Keep it up. Great. Thanks. Glad to hear it. A lot of people say that. That makes me happy. Hello, Brad. Hey. Um, I'm, again, my name is Rick. I can't believe that again? I have subscribed to your pa Patreon. I can't believe that I saw that video of you, you know, broke that table with that telephone and those cans. Yeah. Yeah. Goodbye. That's what I did. I broke a table with a telephone and cans. What are you talking about? Quit trying to lure people over to Patreon with fake stories. I can't be a part of your deceptions. I didn't hear a beep. Hey, Corbin guy. Am I on? You're on. Hey, Brad. How you doing? It's Corbin guy. We've begun. Yay! What a mess. What a mess. Entangled wee web wee weave, right? Anyhow. Yeah. Okay, just a little reminder that, like, this is a community, so... Can, can you cue up? Remember that, everybody. This is a community. Some uh, Rappy McRapperson, you know, follow the rules. Like, just <sighs> play that in the background over this uh, voicemail. I refuse. Follow the rules! Otherwise, you might end up like Corbin Guy and you get really fucked up and you didn't follow the rules! And somehow you made, like, more than three phone calls to one number and then suddenly there's a whole bunch of, follow the rules! All right, yeah. See, I don't need to put a song back there. You're doing it yourself just fine. Uh, so don't be an idiot, okay? Yeah, follow the rules. Okay. You know, make you, make make your what, uh, prank calls responsible. What'd you do? And if nobody knows what the rules are, you should go read about the rules before you make prank calls so you don't do stupid shit like Corbin Guy apparently did. And you kind of suck for not giving us more details. But if you want to read the rules, phonelosers.com slash rules has all the rules of prank calling that should keep you out of trouble with the law. They may or may not work. Can you really trust me to be telling you how to keep yourself out of trouble with prank calls? I've been getting in trouble with prank calls my entire life, and I'm currently on probation for prank calls. 
but they're a good starting point, at least, I think. Hey, Brad, it's Okra from Texas. Hey, Okra. Hey, man, um, I just want to let you know, the way that I found your show was I was listening to Jim Florentini uh, prank calls on YouTube, and uh, YouTube suggested the the thing where you guys, like, hacked into the uh, the Wendy's oh, yeah. uh, drive through thing. And yeah. Then I've been hooked ever since. That was, like... Um, a year and a half ago. That guy, that lady was going to dribble our heads or something. She's going to dunk our heads. Like, I don't remember. She had a weird insult. Anyway, just want to let you know. Bye. Bye. Love you. I miss having friends that would take over drive through radios, but I don't think that shit would even really work anymore, would it? Isn't everything digital now? Hi, Brandon. Did you want to do a podcast called Bringing Disneyland Home? Bye. No, I did not do a podcast called Bringing Disneyland Home. Sorry. Brad, this is Roger from St. Louis. Hey. Just had a quick question. When you say, like, Jim, is Jim Baround or somebody Baround? Yeah. What is that from? I That's I, from the Jerky Boys. And I think it's from either the second album or the third album, uh, Saul's Nude Beach. Wait, you know what? I'm going to search that on YouTube right now and play the opening clip because I think that's how it opens. Hopefully it's on YouTube. Yeah, there it is. Listen to that 90s ringing phone. Hello? Hey, hi, is, is Jim around? Who's calling, please? This is his friend, Saul. See, is Jim around? I don't know why he said it like that. I'm sure he's explained that before, maybe on his old podcast. But I know he sells a hat with uh, big letters on it that say Jim. So I just kind of stole that from Johnny from the Jerky Boys because it sounds funny. But I say it with all the names, not just Jim. I'm like, is Gary around and Came stuff? Late, I guess, so I'd never uh, got the explanation for Jim Brown. So if you could explain it, I that did. would be great. All right, all Brad, right. have a great day. Okay. Love you. Bye. Bye. Now you all know, if you didn't know before, everyone listen to the Jerky Boys, especially their first few albums. Hey, it's Doug from Florida. Hey, Doug. I just wanted to say how much I love when you, uh, you know, you're arguing. Remember, remember the car lot guy? He told no. you can't use your driveway. Maybe. No. You argue with the guy, then you pause. Not and then really. You just drop, asshole. Please do that more, man. That's all right. I'll do that, Great. Great. asshole. Thanks for the voicemail. Hi, Brad. My name's Joseph, calling from the UK. Hello, Yorkshire, to be exact. Okay. You have on your recent show, which is episode seven sixty four, uh, Sign Guy Sunday. Great show, by the way. Uh, you asked us to call it and uh, tell us where we found you. I've been listening to you for about two years now and I was driving home after a very long drive and I just stuck into the internet prank calls stuck and into them? and you what? came up after an amazing amazing uh, show that was basically on a cassette tape you know like the old answering phone the tapes that you put in there um, and it was these guys calling this girl's mum and uh it was blatantly a guy, but she was getting really upset. She was like, oh, my God, you're a, um, you know, you sound so different. Is everything okay? Did I do this or is this somebody else? This is probably somebody else, right? This doesn't sound familiar to me. I'm so confused about what you're talking about. Like, tapes? And it was just hilarious. And anyway, that, that led me on to you and I'm addicted. Tapes. I listen to you every single week. I am on Apple Podcast and... You're just all over the place, and I love you very much. Thank Keep you. up the good work, and I look forward to hearing this for the first ever time. This is the first ever time I called in. See ya! Yay, you did it. You left a really long voicemail, but that's okay. I'm glad you found my show, and you should tell me what that is. Like, what are you talking about? Is that something that we should all be listening to? Someone harassing somebody's mom for some reason? I'm, I'm really quite sure. I'm really quite sure. Hey, Big Larry. At this point in time. But you're listening to the Snowplow Show. Thank you for that drop, Big Larry. You're the best. Brad, Brad. Holy shit. Brad, Brad. It's hey. a nubby guy. I was all... I, my, my family were really happy with the reviews that got left from my, my, my book. I was, like, I, was like that, but I was like that to my mom. I said, I think Brad's, Brad's left a review, which was... That was really, really good of you. Yeah. I, I really, really nice. It really was nice of me. I'm such a nice guy. Nice review. Watch it. <laughs> I always, I always get scared of the bad reviews. I yelled at you for uh, confusing me in the book. You guys, Nobby guy has a book. 
about OCD harm. The bad reviews covered out, but thanks. And a, a couple of other reviews I've got as well, which were And quite you asked for bad reviews, so you only have yourself to blame for that. If any of you want to go leave reviews for Nobby Guy's book, make them good reviews. Don't make them bad reviews. Quite nice. I think there was cat. Was it the cat lady or lady for cats? <laughs> there was okra. If I remember, if I remember the right name, but level uh, lady, cat lady, is that who you're talking about? What are you talking about, cat lady? Uh, right. I just wanted to phone up and say thank, thank you for that, and that 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 will that will that will help. Thank, and, I, and I hope you enjoyed the, the book, Brad. Yes, it's, it's you fun. learn more about harm OCD in that. I know it's a sca- It seems to be a scary subject, but bye. It was definitely interesting. It was a good read. It wasn't too long. I learned a few things. And that's all that matters. Hey, it's me. Tobias Brooks, can you prank call Oshkosh, Wisconsin apartment buildings okay. and say your 10-year-old has autism and ADHD and flush stuff down the toilet? Also, I wrote a song for oh. your show. Why? Also, do you know who the band Savage Garden is? I do. Oh, here it goes. Brad I've... Carter oh, is God. the number one prankster. What's happening? He talks about underground tunnels. It's cool because everyone likes him. We know it's funny because fans like him. Also, I don't appreciate you calling me an idiot on the show. That's not nice. Can you please t- take that back and say your song? All right, I take it back. Anyways. I probably wouldn't take it back, but the song was so beautiful that I'll take it back. So I take it back. You're not an idiot. I'm just kind of an asshole. Don't take it personally. Everyone gets mad at me in the voicemails. Uh, I'll it's talk normal. To you later. It's a rite of passage. It's like a hazing. I'm going to be a huge jerk to um, you. Also, I forgot to say something. Um, Mandota is a hospital in Madison. Oh. Sorry that I forgot to say that. Okay. Bye. Don't call me an idiot. Bye. Whatever. Can I think it, at least? And I don't remember uh, what Mandoza... Like, I don't remember the context. I don't remember what you were talking about, Mandoza, at this point. But thanks for your beautiful rendition of a Savage Garden song. I can't really think of any Savage Garden songs off the top of my head. I don't know which one that was you were doing, but I'm sure I would recognize it if it was a popular song. Hey, Brad. Dugan Nash. Hey. I had a... Uh, an, an, not an idea. No, you hate ideas. Yeah. Not a request. Fuck you and your but ideas. When you call around the country, I think you should do their accent back at them. You know how people hate how you say you're pin? Yeah. It is pen, by the way, not pin. I know. But I, know. I get it. I, I didn't even hear the difference there, I swear. Make fun of other people, like when you do the wind. I think yeah. you should do it back. Like when you call like the northern states and they can't pronounce their R's on the end of a sentence, do it back to them. It's a little, it's funny. Okay. It's funny. The wind, the I'll, pin, all I'll, that stuff I'll do it. Funny. Just a little thing to think about. Okay. Have a great day. Thank Thanks you. for the shows. You rock, man. Love you. Bye. I'm going to make fun of everyone's accents on future shows. Wait a minute. That was an idea. You gave me an idea. Hey, Brad, uh, you know who it is. You said you knew I hated ideas. From a terrorist phone again. Uh, hey, I was wondering, uh, with who, that video, where I can find that video, where you uh, tell these people that are going on a cruise ship that Carrot Top is taking their room and she has to be shoveling coal. Yeah. That was uh, one of my favorites. So if you could tell um, me that is awesome. That's easy. Fun. Go to shitbradsays.com and type in the things that you remember about it, like Polly Shore and coal and whatever else but really i know what it is it's uh just go on youtube and search for uh Polly shore ruins a family cruise or something like that you'll find the entire call on there and there's even a comment from the girl that i called she found the prank call and left some awesome comments for me and for other people yeah you sound like shit you might want to call back and try that voicemail again I think I'm going to delete most of that I just heard because I didn't understand a single thing you said except for, hi, Brad. Hey, Brad. It's Crimson. Hey. So I might be a little bit late to this, but I was listening to voicemails, and I guess at some point you asked people how they found the Snowplow Show. Mm-hmm. Well, I first heard of you. Or the PLA, not just the Snowplow Show, whatever. I mean, I mean, listen to your first prank call a long time ago, way back when in the early days of YouTube. My first? Uh, if you searched for prank call on YouTube, the very first result for quite a long time, from what I remember, uh, was the cactus prank call, where everybody called into that radio show, oh, yeah. and uh, uh, and everybody ended up saying cactus, and uh, the host uh, reacted really, you know, 
uh, uh, hilariously. Um, yeah, it was just a great prank call. So uh, sometimes, you know, you go back and listen to that. We should call up that guy and interview him. Milkbox, you're doing interviews now. Why don't you call up that guy? Like, I, I just happened to find this Milkbox interview tonight where he uh, interviewed Cheap Chick in the City from the new Nathan Fielder show. That should be your next interview. Find that guy from that radio station. I forget what his name was. I think I looked him up once. See how he feels about it 20 years later or however long it's been. It was kind of the days of... Holy shit, that's been 20 years now. Ownage prank. Jeez. This prime. Um, but no, that yours was a top call. And then um, only years later, I was like, man, that, that was really good. Who who, uh, you know, who did that? Because that, that was really well organized and everything. Yeah. And, and it was a real, a real prank call. I want to do those again someday. Like right now, it's not the best idea. But maybe in a few months, let's attack some radio stations together, everybody. As opposed to some of the fake ones, like the John Mabe one. Or, uh, yeah. Just Nick kidding. Mead. Anybody that's listening. God, Tom Mabe. Yeah, Tom Mabe prank call. That yeah. was fake. The John Cena prank call, obviously fake. Um, anyway, no, yours was real. So then uh, I checked out the... I, Tom May was fake? I thought his stuff was mostly real. I feel so lied to. The description and finally found you and uh, kind of started joining the community, listening to the Snowpaw show. Uh, and then 2014 into 2015, all of a sudden I was like, wow, actually the quality is getting really good. And then I started leaving voicemails. Yeah. So uh, hopefully, I, I know I'm over 30 seconds, sorry about that. Yeah, like a minute and 40 seconds. What the hell, Crimson? You need to shut the fuck up. But thank you for the voicemail. Thanks for leaving voicemails on Cisco Kids Cactus Voicemail Corner. What's it called again? I can't remember. Oh, by the way, thanks, Cisco Kid. He sent me a bunch of stuff from my wish list on Amazon, like some hue bulbs. He sent me an internet switch, which I don't actually need right now, but I'm sure I will soon in the future. I'm always needing more internet switches. I'm always hooking up more shit, like more answering machines, more everything. He sent me a little noise suppressor audio cable thing. I use those all the time. I'm using those things constantly. So it's always nice to have a couple of those laying around. Thank you, Cisco Kid, both for your voicemail corner and for your gifts. And thanks to everyone else that sent me stuff. And man, I just got this um, uh, email notification today that I have something waiting for me at my P.O. box. And I'm not expecting anything. So I think it's this payphone that somebody sent in to me. Like, uh, not a standard payphone, but the kind that you would sometimes see in hotels just sitting on a desk. I, I think that's what it is. I can't remember exactly. He sent me a picture of it. So I now have three payphones. What the fuck am I going to do with three payphones? I've got one hooked up in my garage and another one hooked up in my dining room. What am I going to do with the third one? You guys are turning my house into a museum. And I can't even find that email. I can't remember who's sending me the payphone, but I think that's what that is. Thank you, everybody, for sending me things and leaving voicemails and supporting my show. You all are the best. Damn it, why can't I find that email? I'm looking everywhere for it right now. I'm sure I'll post a picture of it on Twitter soon. Once I receive it, I need to go over there tomorrow and grab my mail. And, oh yeah, I've gotten a few emails. We're done with voicemails, by the way. I'm, I'm ending the show right now. But some people have asked me about receiving stickers. So there's two ways to get stickers. Number one, you can go to phonelosers.bandcamp.com and click on the merch section. And you can get 10 PLA and Snowplow Show stickers and maybe other types of stickers, whatever I happen to have around. And those are $5 for 10 stickers. That's a pretty good deal, I think. But if you just want one sticker or possibly two stickers, if I'm feeling very generous that day, all you have to do is email me at show at snowplowshow.com. And the important part is that you include your address. Don't make me ask for your address. Don't include half of your address. Don't forget the zip code. I'm not going to look it up. I have shit to do. But give me your name, your address, your zip code, and demand a sticker from me. Or you can ask nicely. A lot of people have been demanding stickers from me because I think that's what I said the previous time I mentioned this. But I sent out a shitload of stickers, like uh, close to 100 last time I did this. I can't remember where I said in the show that I would give away stickers. But this time I'm doing it after the voicemails so that only the really dedicated listeners that sit through the entire voicemails can get free stickers. So send me an email, show at snowplowshow.com and include your address and tell me you want a sticker and I will probably send you a sticker pretty soon. That's going to do it for today's show. Thank you to the sponsors, Jamie F., Broski, Chaz the Tandem Stacker, high school graduate, and Christine. Thanks, everybody, for supporting me on Patreon and sending me weird shit in the mail that I don't know what to do with. 
but I'm just kidding. I'm sure I will find something to do with yet another payphone. Remember to listen to other prank call shows. I listened to the Milkbox show tonight, and it was fucking hilarious. I don't even know how to explain it. He does the weirdest pranks. And Dragon Mirror was on there. Wasted Memory was on there. Uh, I think Devin was on there for a little bit. And some other people. Quite a few people. I don't know who all else, but listen to other prank calls over at prankcast.com. There is a prank call show on every single night, sometimes even two or three throughout the day. That's where I usually do my live shows these days. So be sure to sign up so you get some notifications whenever a live show happens. And listen to other prank call podcasts and stuff that I have nothing to do with over at worldofprankcalls.com. There's a couple different lists of prank call shows, live shows, and podcasts. Maybe you'll find somebody who's better than me, and you'll be like, fuck this Brad guy. I'm going to listen to this person instead. All right, I'm going to end today's show with a song by Beefy. I think this is an old song, but I just found it recently. Your kung fu is pretty good. Black clouds are swirling never above me. You have proved that you fight well. Now you can join us. Oh, crap. Hold on. I've got an apartment calling me back. Hello. Who's speaking? Ah, uh, this is Roy. Roy. Is this that guy smoking marijuana again? 